Said that there was a report that he said he started the talk with you, saying that you're too small to guard LeBron, and you swore back on him. Is that what happened? What no, I told him you missed the shot. Just come with me. That's all. You think it's appropriate for a fan to kind of go back and forth with you guys like that? A regular pedestrian like him? No. Just never came back in the game. But it's LA. Thanks, Dylan. Thanks, DB. to maintain him and keep him under control, how were you able to get him being a smaller player than him? He doesn't want to go on that. I was just making him move that whole game. And then he was settled when he would pass the ball. Um, and that's my method, and that's what I, and then play physical with him continuously, bump him all the time, um, and don't let him take easy shots. But yet you weren't able to A regular pedestrian? Really, Dylan Brooks? You gonna go there? A regular pedestrian. You talking about a Super Bowl champion? You talking about a Hall of Famer? You talking about a man who was made in the in the sports in the sports talking business in the sports broadcasting business? Be, getting his own show with Skip Bayless. Getting his own podcast when all these all these all these legends coming on this podcast. That man's a regular pedestrian. Compared to you, who's on in the starting lineup to start as a starting small four of the Memphis Grizzlies, who's not even averaging twenty points, who hasn't won nothing, and thinks he can shut down LeBron James. See, this is this is what I'm talking about. First of all, it's kind of crazy because the video I just dropped a couple of days ago, I was praising the Memphis Grizzlies, how they've been really. You know, not afraid of anybody. First of all, I love the trash talk. I love the trash talk. But there's a difference between trash talking and also trash talking to Hall of Famers that won something. When y'all haven't won anything, it's easily y'all becoming the most annoying NBA team in the NBA right now. Because y'all do all this all this talking. Y'all did it versus the Warriors. Y'all did y'all did it. Versus everybody else in the West. Saying that the only th threat to them is Boston. Y'all haven't y'all haven't beaten the Warriors yet. Memphis, y'all gotta win before y'all start talking like this. Before y'all start talking crazy to LeBron James. Four time NBA champion, four time MVP. He's on the route once more. Arguably the best player of all time. Second best. And then talking crazy to Shannon Sharp. Now Shannon Sharp, he ain't off the hook. Yeah, he was talking. He was talking crazy, but he's he's sticking up for LeBron. That's his that's his favorite player, right? And you call him a, a regular pedestrian. When you over, you you really built you, in this picture. You built like Oscar from Shark Tales. And then you got John Moran over here talking crazy to. To Shannon Sharp, who really you can already make an argument, John Morant started it. Memphis, my advice to y'all is win, win something, win. Y'all better win this year. Y'all better win the championship. And don't get me wrong, like I said, I love the trash talk, but it's getting a little out of hand. I can see why a lot of people find y'all as are really annoying. I can see why. I, Clay Thompson really doesn't like y'all. I can see why Steph Curry throws shots at y'all. I can see why Shannon Sharp is talking crazy, y'all. Memphis, y'all better at least get to the Western Conference Finals. That's all I got to say for y'all, man. Like I said, love the trash talk. It makes the NBA the league even more better. It was a... a a viral clip of Shannon Sharp going right back at him. He looks like he's going to be on an album cover. It was a great, great moment, y'all. Just saying. Dylan Brooks. Win. 
get in, get in an award before you start talking to the greats. That's going to do it for this video, y'all. If y'all like this video, like, comment, subscribe if you're new. And I'm out, y'all.